Nowadays, you hear a lot of talk about networking your sonar units in your boat, and there's good reason to do it. In the old days, we didn't do it. So what we'd have is we'd have one standalone sonar unit back up in the front, and I'd have one back here. And if I punched in a waypoint back here, I would, if, I, if it was really important to me and I wanted it on that front one, I'd have to run up there and do the same thing. Well, I don't have to do that anymore. Now, when I hit a waypoint here, because I've got these units networked together, what happens is that waypoint automatically transfers onto that front unit. So if there's a boulder there, an inside turn, a rock pile, whatever it may be, when I punch it in here, it's gonna show up up there. And then if I come back in two or three days and I'm gonna fish from the front of the boat, say the weather conditions are different or I'm gonna fish a different tactic, I can still have that waypoint on that front unit so I know exactly where I'm going. Here's the other thing you can do. If you're gonna go drift fishing, let's say I'm not gonna use my electric trolling motor up on the front. If I'm not putting that Altera in the water, I don't have a transducer for that front graph, but because I've got them networked, I can actually go in there and tell it that I want it to see off of this transducer. So if I had a, a buddy sitting up in the bow fishing and I'm sitting here, both of these graphs are still gonna be usable because they're just gonna both be seeing off that back transducer. Now it's really easy to install this stuff too. All you need to do is put in your units, you get, you get your power source all put together and then you run ethernet cables and an ethernet box and that's it. They talk to each other, you're all set to go. Putting them together like this, running them in a system that's networked is definitely a lot better way than what it used to be. And it makes it so that you can really maximize the use of both of your units.